Now, we're going to take a look at the names of the strings on the guitar. For tuning, when you're using your tuner, uh, the tuner will refer to letter names for each string. So, when you pick a string, it produces a note and we need to give each one of those notes a name. So we'll have a letter name. So we we'll go through from here, we'll have E for a thickest string, A for the next one, D, G, B, and then E. Okay, so I said E twice, so this one is E, and this one is also E. I'm sure you know several people that have the same name. You're still able to tell the difference between them. They might look different. So, same goes for here. Two strings, they have the same name. They both have the, the letter E as their name, but they do look different. So, one is thinner, one is thicker. But again, like people, you usually have more than one name. So, we're going to give these other names as well so we can distinguish them a little bit easier so we're also going to give them numbers so the thinnest string is number one next string is two three four five until we get down to the thickest string which is string number six so then we can say we have the e first string and the e sixth string so that's how we can really make sure that we we're, we're able to determine which string is which you know, if you're going into a music shop and you need to buy a new string and you ask for an E string, well then they're going to ask you which one. So E first would be the thinnest string, E six would be the thickest string. Throughout this course, most of the time when I'm asking you to place your fingers on the strings, I will more than likely refer to them by the number name. Because if we're calling the chord by a letter name, it will just help make things a little bit easier. You'll be able to see in the video inlay where my fingers are going as well anyway, so you'll be able to see which strings my fingers are being placed on there as well.